Hey guys, so for today's session I'm just going to be trying some new and old boulders that I've never made before. Um, I'm coming to an end of a cycle so I do feel a bit tired so that's why I'm just like wanting to have fun in the session. I do have fun every session but this is just like a pure bouldering session and the idea is to enjoy it and try not to get angry if I don't make the moves but yeah we'll see how it goes. If you guys enjoy the video don't forget to like and if you haven't subscribed don't forget to subscribe it will mean a lot and let's get climbing. To start off this is how the gym grades their boulders. I'll be mostly trying reds and some blacks. The first boulder are these yellow holds which start here with a dynamic move and then traverses to the right onto some slopey volumes to a crimp and then finishes off on some more slopey volumes. To start off I had to figure out how much swing I needed to make this first move which I did whilst in the swing and then when ready I aimed first for the foothold and then raised my eyes as fast as possible to aim for the handhold. The next part of the boulder is quite delicate. I have to stay close to the wall and keep in control on every movement. For this move, I struggled quite a bit heading over to the left onto the slopey volume and finding a good hand position to be able to match my right hand. But once I felt ready, I put left toe hook underneath the flat hold volume and a quick movement to match. I was thinking of jumping to the last hold, but it did seem far, so I decided in the moment to lift my left foot up onto the top of the yellow volume and stretch out to grab the last hold. It took me <laughs> 1 minute 20 to make that border. I climb any slower? Um, probably, but I'll try not to. <laughs> but that was a fun boulder, first cool move that I managed to do. First go. But um, yeah, on to the next. <laughs> boulder number two are these black holes which start here and then traverses to the left onto these volumes and then finishes off on some black cheetah volumes. I was very stretched out on this move, which means I needed to find a position where I'd be able to let go of my right hand without getting too much swing to the left. So I did that by putting my foot high up onto this volume, which counter pressured the movement and allowed me to match. At this point of the boulder, I was wrong hand and was struggling to match and change hands. So what I did, I pinched the volume with my two feet to take some weight off both of my hands and to be sure that I wouldn't lose my feet during the movement. and another flash so that was cool um, i'm going to give you some important advice you've got to move faster than what you fall <laughs> so that's exactly what happened during this move of the boulder and the hold i knew the hold that i was going to was really good so i just had to move faster and make sure that my hand catches the hole before my body falls to the ground you see what i mean <laughs> Boulder number three are these yellow holes which start here and then you have tiny crimpy holes all the way to the top of the boulder.
My hip position is very important for this move as you can tell my hips are all the way to the right close to my feet which brings my body closer to the hold. Take some weight off my right hand and allows my left hand to move less before grabbing the matching hold. Same idea here, my hips remain close to my feet and to the right which adds more weight onto my feet and less on my hands which means that I can pull less hard with my left hand to go to the next hold. <sighs> Those holes are really small, really really small. I squeezed really really hard but happy to have made it because I did actually feel really good finger wise, so it's turning out to be a good session. On to the next boulder. Boulder number four are these green holds which traverse to the right onto this slopey volume. And then there's a jump before heading back over to the left onto some more volumes and then top. What went wrong here is that I wasn't stable enough whilst matching and my hips moved further away from the wall. For this attempt I tried crimping the green hold but doesn't work at all. For this attempt I was thinking of bringing my body closer to my feet to have less swing but I was too stretched out for it to work. I managed to figure out how I can bring my both hands onto the volume without having too much swing, which means that when I try to match my left hand to the top of the volume later on, my hips will be moving out less. I focus a lot more this time on squeezing my right arm against the volume and my core and pushing also my left foot against the wall and the volume to be able to match. Okay, that's going to work. That volume is just so slippy. I just need to manage to get my left hand onto like that crimpy hold and then move over to the right and then it should be done. So hopefully next go, it'll work. <laughs> I bring my hips once again closer to my feet which makes it a bit easier for me to move over to the right and have less swing when trying to bring my left hand onto the underclink. Ugh, that's frustrating. First time <laughs> I went too hard on the move. Second time I didn't go hard enough to the move. So third time I'll go just perfect, hopefully. <laughs> Finally! Next boulder are these black slopey holds which traverse to the left.
This next hold is really slopey and I struggle quite a bit to understand how I need to hold the hold. What I did differently for this method is that I kept my left hand as long as possible on the ball and moved out as slowly as possible to the left. Okay, so I completely misread that border because when I went out left hand um, from the hole, I was thinking of kicking my left foot out onto the small triangular volume below, but I actually think that I need to get my right foot up to the ball and just go straight to the jug with my left hand. So I'm going to try that next attempt. Okay, so it took me a couple of attempts just to like really understand how to hold that slopey hole, but I'm happy to have made it. It was a lot harder than what I thought it was going to be. So happy to have made that and some cool moves. So yeah, let's try something else. Boulder six are these green volumes which start here and then head straight up onto some more volumes and smaller holes until the top. So I've already tried this border before, but I never made the move from the second green cheetah volume to like the small crimp. And so made it for the first time right now. Felt, it was hard, but it felt quite easy. If you know what I mean? So I'm happy with that. And now I just got to figure out the end. By bringing my right knee in, it allows me to get closer to the wall and higher up to grab the next hold. For this last move, all I had to do was trust my right foot and move as far right as possible until the very last moment where I could let go of my right hand to grab the last hold. Super happy with that one. Um, luckily, I've gotten flexible to get my foot up so high. <laughs> that was a fun boulder. I'm going to try one last one. And this is a boulder that I've already tried. And we'll see how it goes. The last boulder that I'm going to try are these big yellow slopey flat hold volumes. <laughs>
I've never gotten that far in that boulder. I always used to fall off on the second round flat hold volume. So I'm happy with that, but I got really pumped <laughs> on that flat hold sloper when trying to match and go out. But I'm going to rest a bit, try one last time. And then if I make it, I make it. If I don't, it's time to go. What helped me make this move today is that I got my right hand just a bit higher onto that yellow volume which left some more space for my left hand to match and then get my foot up. But unfortunately, I don't make the end. Okay, oh well. I'm pumped. <laughs> so that's the end of the session. It was a good one and I'm happy with how it climbed. Okay, and that's it for today's session. Um, I had fun, which was the point. I felt actually really good climbing. Um, it was hard at the beginning trying to get into the moves and into the hard boulders, but happy with how I climbed. Um, I did get a bit frustrated sometimes on some moves, but that's fine. And at the end, I was just completely pumped. So that was the end of that session. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in a week.